Ah, Thomas, just in time for the meeting. <laughs> for those unaware, James had a nasty accident rounding a curve on the main line earlier today. I'm happy to report that little damage was done and James is fine. He'll need repairs, however, and that's where he's at now. He'll return to work in the next coming days as good as new. And that brings me to my next announcement. Lately, I've been secretly in talks of restoring the old Farquhar branch line. But in order to do that, I need an engine who's responsible, reliable, and useful enough to run it. Thomas, would that be something you'd be interested in? Uh, I... 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 Uh, yes, say yes. Y yes, sir, yes. I I'd be honored, sir. Thank you, sir. Then it's settled. When James returns from the works, you, Thomas, shall have a branch line all to yourself, with coaches of your very own. Oh, sir, thank you, <laughs> sir. Yes. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. Sir? Yes, Gordon? If Thomas is off running a branch line, who will be here to shunt our coaches? Tender engines don't shunt their own trains. <laughs> well, Gordon, then I guess you'll have to do just that until I can find another engine like Thomas. Oh. Thank you, sir. I won't disappoint you, sir. I know you won't. Good job, Thomas. Thanks, Edward. Will we still see each other, Edward? Of course we will. You know how small this railway is? You know where to find me. Thanks, Edward. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Annie and Clarabel. He puffs proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is never lonely. Edward and Henry stop quite often and tell him the news. Oh, oh. 